It's really dark in here. What? Are you scared already? It's still not too late for you to run. Hey, who are you looking down at? I was worried you'd feel pressured if I acted too brave, okay? <laughs> Keep telling yourself that. from some third-rate horror movie? Not even a toddler would be scared by this. Dear visitors, welcome to the sculpture section of the Witching Hour Art Exhibition. Hello there. Don't be nervous. I am Enfer who's in charge of commentary and guidance. I've introduced myself before. It's humiliating that you're scared by this thing. Get off! Who, who's nervous? I'm just being vigilant, right? Vigilant. <laughs> Look at your wimpy face. Is that also to ease my pressure? Shut up! You know, rat! The theme of this section is breaking the cocoon through expressionism, surrealism, and deconstructionism. I intend to tear the self-bound cocoon and expose the bloody reality to force people to face their deepest fear of harm. Please be careful and keep your belongings safe, as there are a large flow of visitors here currently. Finally, I wish you a pleasant and meaningful trip to the exhibition. Understand what she was saying? Of course! Not. I don't know what those crapisms are, but a large flow of visitors? <laughs> Is she serious? I don't see a single soul here. Is this AI broken? Who knows? Isn't this museum known as the most wicked place in Eastside? And that radio program said no one who went in could come out? I'd say they were probably exaggerating, though. Yeah! The story is too corny, right? A show like Dead Lover Radio should at least think of something new. How can they scare people with that? tricks on us there. Come out and face me! Only a coward would sneak around. The glass is put back. How? here to welcome us. They're not gonna attack us, are they? Shit! Did you have to 
jinx it? I didn't mean it. Ah, these things are too creepy. Stay away. I have trypophobia. This is weird. Huh? Hey, when did you become a scavenger? Enough of your trash talk. Come and check this out! Ugh. It's just pieces left by those monsters. What's there to see? Closer look. Uh, huh? They're in a different shape? The sculpture is called Abyss and has the shape of a teenager being dragged into the abyss by 13 hands. <laughs> I intended to satirize those who think ignorance is bliss and therefore hurt themselves. The Abyss is not a place you can return from. People who blindly pursue thrill, sneer at or even toy with danger and the unknown, will eventually be swallowed. It's their deserved retribution. Things here do seem distorted for some reason. Is it some kind of spiritual contamination? They cover the works and create illusions to confuse the intruders? Ah, you need to stop all the wicked talk now. It's giving me chills. Wrong! Can't be further from... Ouch! This is the hunting ground of various horrific monsters from urban legends. Anyone who enters here will be devoured, which is why they never return. Now that is a story worthy of the spooky atmosphere of Witching Hour. Huh? Then the chief. Ah, what are you trying to say? There's no way the chief was eaten by these things. And more importantly, who are you? <laughs> I'm Josh, the famous herb, um, uh, staff member of the art museum. The famous staff? Yeah. Is there something wrong with that? If I'm not mistaken, you two are FAC agents sent here to investigate the case, right? You are super lucky to have run into me today. I know this museum better than my own home. Even with my eyes closed, I can lead you guys out. Ha! I'm in a good mood today, so I will be kind and let you two tag along. What are you waiting for? Come on! You can even witness my heroic adventure. It's now or never. Nutcase. He doesn't look very reliable, but he works here. And he said he knows the way. How about we follow him? Why are you not moving? You aren't moving either. Why should I lead the way? Are you afraid? <sighs> Why would I be afraid? You'd be pissing your pants, and I wouldn't be afraid! Why are you talking nonsense instead of walking? He'll be long gone if we don't keep up. Talking nonsense? Me? You're the one who keeps blabbering. Forget it. There's no point in arguing with you. I'm going. I'm scared now. 